Guys, it has been revealed by a uh, like ANC through the mouth or in the mouth of O like Secretary General of ANC, which is O Mr. Figilem Balula, that uh, Mr. Pravin Goran is in a very critical condition, but is not yet death. What I find it very surprising it is the fact that he said that it is the only the family who has a right to pronounce him death. On the other hand. I've got people who are <laughs> protesting or oh, whatever. They are waiting in an anticipation. They are saying, Pravin Koran must die. They are, will be very happy <laughs> to see Pravin Koran dying. Don't think it's me, guys. It's the people that are speaking that, you know what? Um, yeah, even Figil and Balula, the way he read some of these things there, I, it did not make sense. But nonetheless... Let's start with the guy who says that he wants wants Pravin Gordon dead. Take a look at this video here. No, oh, well, thanks very much, uh, comrades from all works of life. My name is Hankin Pashele, and I'm here for one thing and one thing alone. To first remind ourselves that we are young people who are too young to be understanding, who do not equally have political tolerance. We are here to welcome the death of Pravin Gordon the former Minister of the Republic, an apartheid apologist, a Stellan Boshaskari, a butcher of the working class and a destroyer of black families. Pravin must die, and we do not regret when we say he must die. Some said he must account before he dies, but equally to us, his death and accounting and rotting in jail is equivalent. So therefore, we categorically welcome the death of Pravin Gautam, a Askari. Thank you. Okay. As we now proceed, I'm going to play you the video of Figel and Balula. Um, now, what has shocked a lot of people is the fact that Figel and Balula spoke, uh, even journalists had to ask, why are you speaking like the man has died? The way, the way you are speaking about it now, it's like we are reading his obituary. Figel and Balula says no. So I don't know whether somebody is hiding something uh, but then l l listen to this one. In that very same thing, this same figure and Balula is saying, in that very same press conference, this same figure and Balula is saying, listen. He's saying, listen. Um, this man is in a critical condition. I'm not sure. I think I've had uh, the suggestions or whatever. People are saying it is stage four of cancer. I, I just don't know, guys. I wouldn't lie. Uh, you know, most they are saying there are fake news out there. So I wouldn't know whether that is actually the truth or not. But one thing I know that is the truth is the fact that I'm going to give you the video of Figel and Balula after this. So you're going to listen to Figel and Balula yourself. And you judge, be your own judge and tell me if um, the way people look at the way I, I, I'm, I'm listening and the way journalists are listening, was it true you know what i'm saying uh because i mean he spoke like the man has died like honestly speaking guys he spoke like pravin Koran has died she said maybe they are keeping it under under wrap making sure that um by the time they announce it to the public maybe i just don't know but before we get into the other two videos that i'm about to play let's start here if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying we'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay okay so i'm about to give you the video gum box uh some who might have known him or those who know him very well they call him box Miguel, i don't know i don't know um 
I want you guys to listen to what Ufigel Mbalola has got to say. Pay attention to each and every word that Ufigel Mbalola is about to say. And you will tell me if uh, really he doesn't speak like the way he's being accused. To but when are you speak like the man has passed? Uh, the man has passed away. The way you are speaking, right? People are like, ah, Mbalula, no, Mbalula, no, 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 no. Why are you speaking like that? Take a look at what Mbalula said here. Thank you for honoring our call. Uh, this morning, uh, I visited uh, Comrade Pravin Gordon in the hospital after receiving information from his family that uh, he has been uh, hospitalized. Indeed, Comrade PG is currently in a critical condition and is receiving the necessary medical attention. He is surrounded by family and friends and comrades. We believe that the medical team is doing all that is necessary to give Comrade Pravin Gordon the best care possible and we remain hopeful for his recovery. We have extended our heartfelt words of encouragement to the Godan family, offering support during this difficult time. We call upon all members of the ANC, as well as South Africans at large, to keep Comrade PG and his family in their thoughts and prayers. Comrade Pravin Gordon is a veteran of our liberation struggle having played a pivotal role in the underground machinery of the African National Congress and the United Democratic Front in the former Natal region. His dedication to the cause of freedom and justice is a testament to his unwavering commitment to our movement. In addition to his remarkable contribution, to the struggle for liberation, Comrade PG has served the people of South Africa with distinction in public service, particularly in his role as Commissioner of the South African Revenue Service, SARS, and as a Cabinet Minister in various roles where he carried himself with integrity and diligence. We take this opportunity to condemn in the strongest possible terms, the cruelty of fake news spread on social media platforms where individuals are falsely declared dead while they are still alive. This insensitive and harmful action caused unnecessary pain and distress to families during already uh, difficult times. It is only the family and the family of uh, Comrade Pravin Gordon that has got the authority uh, to make such pronouncements. And those, by extension, who are delegated by the family, if any of such uh, occurrences may happen. We urge the public to refrain from sharing unverified information and to show respect for the dignity and privacy of individuals and their families. This is not only applies to Comrade PG, but uh, to all those who were even affected in the past. Uh, as we know, in the era of social media, uh, this kind of uh, fake news have been circulated in the past, uh, affecting different families and causing distress. Uh, it is only families that can make uh, such uh, pronouncements. We further urge the public to disregard these baseless claims and to rely on verified sources for accurate information and such sources on matters of that nature is the family. It is critical that we focus on his speedy recovery and factual reporting from credible sources and official statements rather than being swayed by harmful misinformation. And we thank the media of South Africa, which have at all times followed the protocols uh, that are written and unwritten about matters of this nature. 
will continue to monitor combat PG's conditions and provide updates as necessary. We stand with Comrade uh, Gordon's family and offer our continued support. Okay, so let's now move forward a bit and... Uh, yeah. Um, you know what? Something... I'm about to play another video of Figilam Balula. But... To, I'm battling in my mind, you know. That's why I'm even struggling to speak because... I'm battling with this thing that what is happening with Private Gordon? Is he still alive? Is he you, man? Listen to what this person is saying, umba umba lula, and then put one plus one together. Remember that when Madiba died, I think if I'm not mistaken, they also tried hiding that. The oh, they made him. I don't know what they were trying to do, but yeah. So, mm, what is going on here? The the tone of Figel and Balula as well. Hey, it doesn't tell me. It doesn't give hope. I'm a man. Bonan doesn't subject to correction. So, must, might probably be wrong. But maybe you guys know it better than I do. Maybe you have read the, the room better than I do. I don't know. But you know what I know? What I know is that I'm going to give you a video of Fikile Mbalula Enya. And you guys are going to listen to that. And you guys are going to tell me what you think. What do you make of the video that I... Look, what do you make of the video that, I, that I'm about to show you here? It is only the family and the family of uh, Comrade Pravin Gordon that has got the authority uh, to make such pronouncements. And those, by extension, who are delegated by the family, if any of such uh, occurrences may happen. We urge the public to refrain from sharing unverified information and to show respect for the dignity and privacy of individuals and their families. This is not only applies to Comrade PG, but uh, to all those who were even affected in the past, uh, as we know, in the era of social media, uh, this kind of uh, fake news have been circulated in the past, uh, affecting different families and causing distress. Uh, it is only families that can make uh, such uh, pronouncements. We further urge the public to disregard this baseless claim. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, and you, there's something, man. There's something about this. There's something I just, I don't know, but there's something about this. The way Fila and Balula is speaking. Uh, uh, and uh, you know what? Somebody once said, give Fila and Balula the mic. He will actually, he will, he will, tell, he will tell you the truth. While trying to hide the truth. So, <laughs> I don't know. But there was this politician that says, we just need to give Figuero Mbalula the mic. You know, just just give, give him the mic. He's going to tell you a lot of the things. And when I will think he's still joking, and Figuero Mbalula is telling you the truth. I don't know. Is he telling the truth about that? Like, Yes, this man died. Me, I'm yes. I'm not about to. I'm so. I'm a man. I'm not like a shonil. Ah, he. Kaza kashu jarobi. Ngaling, ngaling, ngaling. Hey, 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 hey. You're spreading false news. Hey, 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 hey. You're spreading. You're spreading lies. Hey, 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 hey. You're spreading false rumors. Ah, I'm saying based on what Mbalula, the way the tone of Mbalula. It is telling me something. I don't know what it is, but it is telling me something. You'll, 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 you'll get into the comment section below, okay, guys. You're going to tell me what you think about everything that I've just told you now. You and I, guys, will meet in the next video, good people.